guys were here in uh, Houston, Texas with my friend Reed. Thanks for having me, man. Um, how's my hair? Uh, anyways, uh, I flew in here on Thursday, Friday. We did the Austin Open. No gi, gi, no gi. Saturday, Sunday. Now it's Monday. And uh, not only have I been doing jujitsu, some wrestling, but um, just, you know, we've been doing a lot of uh, Wim Hof training. And Reed's, he's done the 10 week course. He's went out to Amsterdam to do his. Uh, uh, yeah, they call it the advanced module. And advanced module, he signed up to go on the, uh, the trek through up to uh, Mount. What's that mountain called? Mount. Sh I Mount would, Chinook. I would say it wrong, but in Poland. A big mountain in Poland. <laughs> the big mountain in Poland in his shorts, you know, obviously below freezing. Uh, and he's getting ready to get his uh, certification to become a Wim Hof uh, trainer. And he shared with me like so much stuff. Um, so I'd like to ask him some Q and A's. And then um, you know we're out here in Par at the Paradigm Training Center. They also do some of the Wim Hof ice training. They do some of the breath work. Um, and so he's already involved in the coaching aspect of, of Wim Hof training. Uh, could you tell us about how you got started with Wim Hof? Like, what was your interest? And, like, because uh, we talked a lot about it. But, um, yeah, so for me, it, it started with the breathing. I had actually was doing some free diving and spear fishing, and I wanted to learn how to hold my breath longer. Okay. And um, one of my friends heard me talking about these breathing techniques I was using with free diving. He goes, Oh, are you doing Wim Hof? And I said, What's that? I'd never heard of it. And he said, Well, similar breath training and so I started looking into it and I just you know, really got hooked when you uh, I remember you were talking about how like holistic Eastern medicine was like not your thing right but then once you started to, to study Wim Hof and realize it was like kind of a gateway to all these other things can you talk, talk to us exactly. about that exactly um, what Wim Hof has really done is he's combined all these things. Uh, people already know about meditation and yoga and, and some of the benefits even of breathing, but he really brought them together in a very simplified way and I would say he demystified it. So a lot of times you hear about, at least from my perspective, when I would hear about yoga and chakras and meditation, it all sounded like a bunch of, uh, you know, mumbo jumbo <laughs> but Wim Hof is just like you know just try this method and you will experience it and experience is believing and so once I got it and I was hooked I call it a gateway drug because now I really want to go deeper now I really want to um, so if you think about all the components that Wim Hof has combined it's, it's yoga it's meditation it's breathing and in each of those areas now you can go deeper and you can learn more yeah. Where, you know, I, I really like the Wim Hof Method, but he really has just scratched the surface in each of those areas. Yeah. Um, tell us about the 10-week course and your progression through that. Sure. So that's that's the brilliance of what Wim Hof has done, is a very gradual build-up, where from week one, like what we did together is so simple. It's yeah. take 30 breaths, try and hold your breath, do some really basic stretching, like touching your toes. Yeah and you know, sit-ups or planks, and progressing that a little bit at a time until all of a sudden, um, you know, for me, I had breakthroughs in flexibility. I've lost a lot of weight. You know, I feel like my metabolism has actually increased. Uh, the cold has an impact on that too. Um, so yeah, personally, the, the experience was believing the revelations that I had along the way. Um, proved it to me that it worked for myself so it didn't take any convincing you know there's yeah. no like you can't write something that's going to convince me he's like just try it yeah. and you know they always say that with yoga I've been to yoga class before and they go you know come back tomorrow come back tomorrow do it consistently the only way you really benefit from flexibility is to do it consistently and I never had had that consistency I would do yoga once a month and but with Wim Hof with the 10 week course he convinced me that like do it every day try to do it every day for these 10 weeks of course you'll miss a day here and there but I was very consistent and you'll find if you do these things even after the first 10 20 days consecutively um, you know the benefits are pretty dramatic yeah and I, like I can't believe how flexible 
you are. Because I've done, I've done a workshop with Wim Hof, and then what else did I do? Uh, and I've just been doing my own training with the, the app online, but I haven't done the 10-week course yet, but now that you've kind of talked me into it. Yeah, I, I highly think, recommend the 10-week course. Yeah, I think I'm going to step into that and just be, be as consistent as I can. Um, you talked about like starting your day with Wim Hof. Yeah. Um, tell us how that, has it affected your the rest of your day? How, how has that changed? Well, sure, I think it's a great way to start your day because it, you know, maybe you have trouble waking up and getting going in the morning. Yeah. And especially if you're doing the cold, yeah. right? The cold is a part of it. So I usually, the Wim Hof routine takes me about half an hour. Okay. And that's 10 to 15 minutes of breathing and 10 to 15 minutes of stretching. Okay. And then you end that up in the cold. So a cold shower or jumping in a cold pool or an ice bath if you have access to one. Um, so yeah, you wake up, it wakes you up in the morning and you feel great. And I don't feel like it really took that much extra time out of my day because I'm already going to do my morning coffee, get going, take a shower. And so if I can just pop out of bed and be like, let me knock out my Wim Hof, 30 extra minutes out of the day, that, that became my morning routine. What about... Um the rest of your day like how has that has that has that changed the rest of your day like your, your mental state on the rest of the day on, on, you know? yeah it's a very refreshing experience so yeah. I do feel more alert and mentally focused after I've done it and I think that does stick with you and feel a little bit more energized throughout the day yeah. Yeah. Um, some of the effects are very immediate like I recommend doing the breathing right before any kind of athletic competition like we talked about I'm yeah. on the side of the mat I'll crank out 10 or 20 Wim Hof breaths just to get that charge. So there is an immediate effect, but um, in terms of doing it to start your day, yeah, I do just feel I'm starting my day off on the right foot and I feel great. It's perfect. Um, could you tell us about your, like, so you did your 10 week course, and along that 10 week course, I think you really dove deep into, like, the cold, cold. Yep. You know, and Wim talks about, like, the cold being unforgiving but at the same time being very righteous, you know? Um, tell me about, if you could talk to us about like that cold experience. It's weird because I hated cold. I was like, the, <laughs> yeah. I lived in San Diego and I wouldn't go to the beach because I thought the water was too cold, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so I think we have these, and Wim talks about this a lot, we have this uh, mentality to just avoid being uncomfortable at any cost. We keep our whole life between like a very tight range of, you know, 68 to 74 degrees and anything more, we want to be in the air conditioning or we want to be in a jacket. Yeah. And of course, humans weren't always like that. For millions of years, we've evolved to be able to withstand colder environments. And, you know, I, I like to use analogy, it's like a muscle. We all know that if I put my muscle under stress, if I exercise with weights, the muscle gets stronger. And our cardiovascular system, which the veins that circulate the blood in our body, is what enables us to withstand cold, but we don't use it. If you keep yourself so comfortable the whole time, it's just like a muscle that atrophies. Yeah. So by stimulating it, by getting cold, we're rebuilding that capability. Yeah. And you know, again, the brilliance of the Wim Hof 10-week course is it's so gradual. The first week is just a 30-second cold shower. You're like, anybody can do it for 30 seconds. And then week two, maybe it's a minute and you gradually build up and by the end you can do a 10 minute ice bath and you look back you're like how did I get there you know and there were a couple of like dramatic breakthroughs along the way like I think day four all of a sudden you don't feel it fear it anymore like I've already done this cold shower let me just knock it out and then maybe somewhere in week two or three all of a sudden it doesn't hurt anymore you know so I think the key is the gradual progression of building up of the physical ability, the building up of the, the veins and the, the strength of your cardiovascular system and the building up of the mental, um, overcoming your fear. It's really not that bad. Like, I know it's going to hurt, but I'm just going to tolerate it. And, you know, I went from the guy who absolutely hates the cold to now I can do my ice bath. No problem. You've seen me do it. It's not yeah. that bad for me. Yeah. Seeing, seeing somebody do it, help me realize okay this is this is how I can approach it better um, what about your experience in Amsterdam what uh, I know you had like a very like upfront experience Wim wasn't there um, but 
what was your, what was that experience like? Yeah, I was a little disappointed not to meet Wim, but the the people who organized it actually convinced me that it's a good thing that Wim's not always there because people want to say anytime there's something like this, they want to say it's like a, a guru thing. Sure. And it's not about that. You know, Wim's just trying to share this technique that he thinks can help people. So it's not about worshiping Wim Hof, right? It's about learning more about how to control our breathing and how to control our bodies. So you can do that with or without the guy. And uh, it was an awesome experience. I think my favorite part of it was meeting other like-minded people, other weird people who were into sitting in ice baths, you know, <laughs> from all over the world. There was a guy there from Australia, people from you know Sweden, um, the United States, Europe, all over the world who had this common interest in sitting in ice baths and doing this crazy breathing. So it was a it was a fun experience. It's really cool. I wanna I wanna join join you guys. It's like so, jujitsu, same thing with jujitsu, right? Sure. You like sure. the technique, but half the reason you do it is to make friends. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's a big big component of it, I think. Um, tell us about how you're incorporating that Wim Hof method and that experience into Houston, the Houston community, Paradigm Paradigm Training Center. Um, what what do you have going on here? Yeah, so um it's just like a personal pet passion of mine, so uh, we offer it on Saturday morning, we call it Wim Hof Club, and we, we get together here and we do the routine, and I have an ice bath here at the academy that we can hit, and it's open to all members and non-members, so it's really something I just do for free. Um, of course, I hope that people who are interested in Wim Hof will come here and see the gym and maybe they'll like it, but Wim Hof Club is almost independent of, of Paradigm. Uh, again, just an opportunity for people to get together and do Wim Hof. So cool. that's what we're offering here. And um, what I try and emphasize, especially for my martial artists who train at Paradigm, is how do you apply Wim Hof to benefit you know, your performance in your martial arts competition? And so we'll talk a lot about mental toughness. And there are the physical benefits. You know, I talked about the breathing before the match. I do feel like getting more oxygen gives you more energy. And I do feel like strengthening the cardiovascular system with the cold gives you, you know, more strength or more endurance and so forth. Um, but the mental aspect is huge too. So yeah. I talked about before you step into the ice bath, it's the same as before you step onto the mat. Yeah. You're nervous. Your body wants to do a fight or flight reaction. Panic. Uh, start to make excuses of, you know, maybe I'll back out. And you have to kind of flip a switch and you have to stay calm have to just commit to it. I'm going to do this and I'm going to give my best. And so to me it's the exact same analogy of the uh, mindset of competition. And I like to think of, you know, Fedor in the ring before he fights. He's so calm, he's so focused. That's how you need to be before you go in the ice bath. And so it, it's like practicing and preparing yourself for a competition mindset. This is kind of a similar question to that, but you know, I thought Wim Hof was all about breathing, and it is a big part of it. That, that is a big part of it, right? But as you're doing it, you start to realize it's meditation, right? And as I was doing the bath, the, like we've done maybe three or four ice baths here, I started to realize it's about like kind of self-understanding. I don't know if that's the right word, but kind of digging deep into your own self and discovering your fears almost and because it's kind of it's scary you know? um, maybe it's hard to pinpoint exactly into words but how has the breathing and the ice developed that mental capacity to and then relating it to your performance. How, how has that developed? Like There is, there's a, a mind-body connection that happens. Yeah. And in yoga, they'll talk a lot about yeah. mind-body connection and the breathing is part of that. So you get in touch with, you understand how your breathing affects your physiology. Yeah. And um, anybody who's done yoga or meditation knows how important breathing is to it. You know, meditation is basically breathing. They talk about watching your breath and all the things that you do so you can block out other thoughts and focus on your breath and really turn your thoughts internally. And uh, 
um, all these weird abstract sounding ideas, they just they come to reality when you, when you do the method and you practice it. I'd never meditated before, and now you're like addicted to it. You want to just spend 10 minutes breathing and, and meditating. You can kind of go to a deep place in your mind, and it feels great, and it's almost like a drug. It's just an addictive feeling. It is. Tell us about how people can find out about the Wim Hof uh, Center for Experience on Saturdays. Um, Sure, so if you're in Houston, we have uh, WimHoffClub.com is the website. One more time, there was a clap there. Sure, WimHoffClub.com. Okay. And that's basically just going to feed you into the Paradigm website. So it, I think, uh, anyway, our address and contact information is all on WimHoffClub.com or TXGym.com is the main website for the academy here. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Reed. If you guys have any questions, uh, like I've been kind of mentored these last three or four days on uh, my breath work, power breathing, uh, incorporating more stretching, starting my day off with, with that breathing, and you know, the righteous cold. Um, Reed's a great coach. I, I highly recommend seeking him out if you're, if you're kind of exploring or if you're already interested in the Wim Hof, it's a great group of people to kind of network with. I'll see you guys, take care. Thanks Reed.